in order for us to discuss images and poetry, what I'm doing is sharing an excerpt from one of my poems, The 16th Strike, with my son here. And he is illustrating the poem as I'm sharing it so that he can be cognizant of those images when he's writing his own poetry. We've already gone about halfway through the poem, so we're just going to pick back up here. Malcolm, El Haj Malik El Shabazz, swooping down as Phoenix, a lightning bolt through the dull drum beat of marching feet to create a cadence, a new step for all of history to dance to. By any means necessary, by any means necessary, we will regain human rights. By any means necessary, we will reclaim dignity. Microphone feedback, gunshots, white hoods, crosses aflame. Dignesh, Sing Bay, from the bones cradled in the belly of the land of burnt faces to the bones cradled in the belly of La Amistad, the friendship. How long will we remain separate from our native names? Bones scattered, unmarked graves. This is for the Zulu. Can you go back a little? Dignesh. White hoods. White hoods. Crosses aflame. Dignesh. Sing Bay. From the bones cradled in the belly of the land of burnt faces to the bones cradled in the belly of La Amistad. The friendship. How long will we remain separate from our native names? Bones scattered, unmarked. Second bones cradled in. Second part of bone cradled. Dignesh, Singpei. From the bones cradled in the belly of the land of wait. <laughs> from the bones cradled in the belly of the land of burnt faces to the bones cradled in the belly of La Amistad, the friendship. That was a ship that carried captive Africans, the Amistad, and La Amistad means the friendship, but how can you have friendship if you're kidnapping folks and buying folks like their goods instead of people? In the land of burnt faces, that's what some people say Ethiopia means. I don't know if it's linguistically sound or not, but some people say Ethiopia means the land of burnt faces. In which I think that that's pretty degrading, right? Racist, degrading, whack. Uh, go with whack. And Dignesh is the original name for, and then what did Europeans call her? What? What did they call Dignesh? Um, I don't know. The friendship? No, Dignesh is the original name of... Artie? Lucy? Lucy, right, right. Dignesh is the original name of Lucy. And Sing Bay is... Friendship. No, Artie. <laughs> no, no, but good guess. Sing Bay was... Um... Idiom. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. He was one of the captured Africans that was on the Amistad. And he led, right, and that was the friendship. And he led the revolt because the captured Africans that were on the Amistad, they revolted against their captors, okay? And when I say El Haj Malik Al Shabazz, that is the, uh, the name that Malcolm X gave himself when he became Muslim. Yes. I didn't 
that. Yes. Okay. So, is there anything else that you didn't understand that you want me to explain? Um. What do you mean by Phoenix swooping down? Okay, so what is a phoenix? A phoenix is a firebird. How does it become a firebird? It burns itself. Okay, and so it rises from its own what? Grave. Its own ashes. Mm -hmm. So when you go through a lot in life, like Malcolm X, and then you go into jail, which we talked about, jail could also... What's another uh, way that we could look at jail? Underworld. The underworld or Hades. And so if he's coming from that underworld and coming back up and becoming a great human rights activist, then that's why I say that he's a phoenix because he's coming out from his own ashes and he's flying once again. Does that make sense? Yes. Do you have any other questions? Mm -hmm. I already know what this means. What? I said this. I already know what that means. What is that? It's like when when the Ku Klux Klan would burn crosses, like in front of churches and stuff. Uh huh. Um. Let's see. What about when you said microphone feedback? Microphone feedback because do you know where Malcolm X was killed? Uh. Stage. A theater. A movie theater. It wasn't a movie theater, but it was a stage. And so if you're on stage, you might have a microphone. And when you have a microphone, you might hear that feedback, like, <laughs> okay? But then, after you hear that feedback from the microphone, if you were there the day that Malcolm X was killed, what would you hear next? You would hear gunshots. Right, and so that's why I say microphone feedback, gunshots, and then like I go to a separate image because Malcolm X was not killed by the Ku Klux Klan, and I say white hoods crosses a flame because that still ties into the civil rights movement, but you can probably think of some people who were killed by the Ku Klux Klan like Malcolm X's relative, and who is that? Right, his father. Okay.